Good morning, everyone. It's a beautiful morning. It's just kind of overcast and cloudy. I don't think it's supposed to rain today, but uh, it's just turned out to be a beautiful morning. So we've got all milking done. I was supposed to work today, um, but as of right now, we're able to, uh, I'm able to be off for a little bit. So it allows me to kind of get a head start on just more preparing for our trip to Michigan. So we're going to try to disc up some of the old spring and summer gardens uh, and get them ready for a silage tarp. Uh, before we do, we may go ahead and make a paddock out of that for the cows. I'm not sure. I don't know if I'm gonna have that kind of time today, but we did get the bee around the bee apiaries cut and weeded yesterday. They look great. Um, we're gonna try to get all the rest of the fall tomato steak today. We ran out of tomato steak, so we're gonna run to a co-op and get those. Um, also, if you remember our, our bigger beef cattle at my dad's place, we're going to um, go over there. We've got to uh, move them to a new paddock. So they are ready to go to the new paddock. The only thing is uh, I need two gate openers and two handles to, to be able to move them. So we're going to go to the co-op and, and buy those two. It's just two of those little handles. Those little handles are only like $5. And what it does is it allows you not to have to take them all the way back around so it allows us to kind of make a some just some openers basically so we're excited about that and uh the new paddock they're going to looks phenomenal um just high grass so it's we're real pleased with that so we're going to go ahead and get started for the day we're going to probably ride up there first to the co-ops and also to the um to the bigger cows uh, i just came out here to check on alley daddy o and beauty and also our new corn um they're paddock they're eating down pretty good um we're supposed to move them monday to the, the paddock they're going to be in while we're in michigan can you say good morning she always is nosy she's gonna come see us say hey ally can you say good morning can you bellow for us can you bellow for us hmm. she's sweet so she's looking good she's um she is supposed to calve a course in November, so we're going to watch her. What we're going to probably do when we get back from Michigan for August and September, well, for August, I'll probably leave her with our bull, Daddy-O, and Beauty uh, right there. Um, but after that, I think I'm going to bring her fully with Elsa, the milk cow, and let her follow her around everywhere she goes. She has been in the stanchion, and we've done some practicing uh, milking. But hey, we're going to do a little bit more. Um, I think every day after I get done with Elsa, I'm going to bring her in and let her come in, eat just like that, and me do some more training. She is a kicker. So I've got to work with her on that. So um, corn starting to come up a little bit. We're happy with that. Uh, the other spring garden's kind of playing out, so we're going to go ahead and finish up taking those. We can see our watermelons. Our watermelons are starting to grow. Again, we're not big watermelon folks, but, uh, you know, we decided to go ahead and try some. Look. See that little small one? We've got some small ones. Then we've got some big ones over there. The big ones are over there on the other side. So they're coming up. We don't, I mean, to be honest with you, we have a watermelon that uh, uh, a family friend of us, a fan, family friend gave us to us yesterday. And to be honest with you, we probably, it'll take us forever to eat that one watermelon just because we don't eat really a lot of watermelons. Uh, actually, I'm the only one that does. See, there's a little one right there starting to come. So, so we've got about 10 out here. They're starting to grow. Um, we'll probably have to give most of those away. Because, uh, like I said, I won't be able to eat them quick enough. But Our pumpkin patches are doing great. Actually, we have some volunteer pumpkins that are even doing better over in the cattle field where we threw some old hay last year and some old fall decorations. So they're doing good. So we're going to... Uh, check on our pumpkins today i still think it's too wet to disc in it and uh till in it just because all the rain we've had this week so i'll double check but uh we'll probably go ahead and and wait another few days on it all right quick update on our peppers and our tomatoes look at our peppers they're really starting to look good they're starting to throw off uh some pods and some flowers so we're hoping to have some pepper start on those we're late on our peppers for some reason but they're all looking great uh, some more fall tomatoes they're all looking wonderful wonderful so i'm hoping they do good let's show you the rest of our fall tomatoes and fall peppers over here we've got a few tomatoes in there if y'all remember this was the bed that would not grow anything on this side if you remember um but we amended it with all chicken manure and compost it's 
still good. All right, pass our old compost pile. All right, so here's where we got to work today. This is the, what we've got to do today. We've got to stake up the rest of these peppers. You see, some of them are really starting to grow. I mean, they're almost three foot tall. Uh, we've never had peppers that high. You see, they're a little yellow around some of these bottoms. I think it's because the airflow, and they're because they're kind of bent over. So we've got to get these up today. These are the ones we're working on today when we go get some more tomato sticks. So, um, I guess I've never had peppers this tall. Ours are usually kind of lower. I don't know why. But uh, because of that, I've got to get them stood up better. So, tomatoes, same way. I've got a lot, some other tomatoes right here. They're doing real good, but some of these are tall, so I got to get these up. So, we're going to go ahead and, and do that when we go to the co op. Um, one thing we've done is getting so hot in our greenhouse. So, we bought this little fan, basically just to aerate around in here. Uh, it's helped, but you know, I guess a greenhouse is a good thing when it you know holds its its heat because that's the whole purpose of it uh we walked in here yesterday and it was like 120 even with the door open so uh, i think that's a little hot for tomatoes and some of this other stuff so we've got some of the the herbs underneath and they're doing great our aloe is thriving uh you know what's so cool here look at this look at how cool this is our orange tree is thriving who grows oranges in mississippi we are look at that We've got like three or four oranges on this tree, so we're excited. Our lemon tree is, is made, so it's actually flowered, but it's not making, well there's, here look, little lemon. Weep. Real small lemon, so they're starting to make, we're excited about those, we're going to try to grow those all year long. Uh, look at our strawberries in here. So everything looks good there, we did start aerating that just because it was getting a little, a little toasty in there. We've got the two gate openers put in. I'm sorry, I just didn't film this. I totally forgot to be honest with you, but I got the gate openers put in so they can cross here. They're all down here, but they're gonna need some food encouragement to get across this creek, especially with the little calf. So everything's looking good. This grass is doing great here. Great. So we're supposed to put them in this thick grass. We got the feed trough over here. So we're gonna go ahead and get them moved. There's a the big bull. Man, he's pretty. They might come over here. I doubt it. They're going to take some feed. They're going to need some encouragement. Anyways, let's get this set up. And then we'll walk them across. Look at this grass. It's up to my knee. It's awesome. It's real thick. So we're happy. They're starting to come over. Look at that. Look at that. Woo -hoo. When they move themselves, is what I like. And the calf came over too. All right, come on. Come on, guys. See you, I like smart cows. Dumb ones I don't like too much. Pulling this trough across 50 or 40 acres. I don't know how long this is, too much. Pull a trough across, so we're gonna buy another trough, but I think it's a good 15, 20 acres that we pulled it across. Feels like it's like 300. All right. They're over. Boom. All right, they're moved over. Look how pretty that yellow calf is. This grass is so thick and lush. They're gonna really enjoy it.
she's growing off pretty. Alright, now not all of these are ours, of course. This is ours, blue tag. This is Holly. She's looking pretty. She's the smallest one out here. Oh, excuse me. She's the second smallest. The smallest one out here is going to be uh, Ginger, which is this one right here. This ours. And then that's our bull right there behind it, Ferdinand. The other three that's out here and the little calf is really my father. So look at this grass. Can you see? Look at this. To my knees. They're going to enjoy it. You did. Good girl, good boy. Cows are therapy sometimes. After we moved the um the cows just came up here look at all the elderberries look how pretty they look they're almost ready to pick and harvest they're absolutely gorgeous this whole fence row is full of them on uh, our family's property they're absolutely gorgeous look at that beautiful 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 so we're really excited about the elderberry harvest this year last year we were paying around 20 to 25 dollars per pound online for organic elderberry these are fully wild grown non-sprayed elderberries look at that my gosh look at all them blessings blessings what's amazing is this is how god provides for us we didn't plant these they're wild grown and they're beautiful Look at them all. All right, we're back home. We got home from moving those cows. Now we're gonna do a little work. We're gonna get those tomato steaks uh, on those those newer fall tomatoes and also on the peppers. Uh, it's supposed to rain a little bit this afternoon, which wouldn't be bad. We need a little rain, not a lot, since we had so much on the on the uh, travel storm last week. But uh, if if the garden is dry enough and the spots that that are bad, I'm gonna go ahead and do a chop and drop and get some of that stuff done. That way, when we get the silo start ne the next week, we'll be able to go right on those because some of that stuff's not making and it's just kind of there. So we're going to try to see what we can do on there depending on the wetness. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and feed all the animals and get all that done. All right, we've had thunder in the distance and the sun is kind of setting. But um, we're going to try to get to a stopping point. You see how much humidity is on the phone. Look at that crazy humidity uh, we've not got to the pumpkin patch just because it's so wet uh, we couldn't even disc in our old garden our spring and summer garden to get some of that off because it is just so wet from the rain the other day uh, and then of course we've had a little rain today so uh, we're going to finish up again thank you so much for supporting us and, and uh and watching our our channel uh if you think we have good content let us know if you could share this with other folks let them know uh, we love uh, sharing our life with you and again if you have any comments about some of the things we're doing or questions let us know But thank you more than anything for watching. Happy homesteading y'all